hey everybody, I got my ridiculously large hat on, and that can only mean one thing, mowing. So uh, listen, we got some rain here in Texas, and that's a beautiful thing. So I've been mowing, I've been mowing into the night. Last night, I flew into a swarm of blister beetles. They stung me, gave me second degree burns across my leg. And uh, my eyes are having a problem with it too as well. So I've gotten stung quite a bit this week, uh, this this month. So uh, uh, African bees, I got stung by some African bees. I got stung by yellow jackets. I got a spider bit and now blister beetle. Uh, swarm, uh, oh my God, they lit me up. Uh, I think my body's tired. I could see that maybe this is a uh, allergic reaction. I can hear that uh, my sinuses are filled up. But uh, here in Texas, you got to mow when there's moisture. Otherwise, it's a uh, fire risk. And I don't want to be the guy whose mower catches fire while mowing. So uh, let's take a look at what I got done here. So this here is my sawmill. And... Uh, Oh, I've got a lot of logs drug, drug in here that I haven't delimbed. So, uh, but I got this mowed so I can drag them around, start to delimbing them. There's some good sized ones in there. So my poor sawmill that I bought, I still have it set up. In addition, I bumped it while mowing and knocked it off. So now I've got a twisted rack. I hope I, uh, it didn't put a permanent twist in it. So I hired help who are going to help me clear out the trees there we're just going to clear them up and i'm going to set up my sawmill in there with a tin roof over it so uh it's protected i also have some other equipment back here so a shredder and whatnot so uh, anyway i i definitely want to get some of these off the ground that are rotting you know that's an oak tree it's still got good good oak underneath that once i cut it up but there's four or five big logs here's six or seven big logs a couple more you saw some in the brush anyway i mowed all of that uh, pasture last night and then i started working back here in the uh, fairy garden and that's where i got whoop, i'm all full of fire ants now that's where i ran into the swarm of blister beetles and they're tough i'll show you the difference in the in the woods when i'm mowing so, you know, that's that's the unmowed part, and it's just filled with doveweed and uh, silverleaf nightshade and things that are hard for uh, for uh, horses to eat. So then once I mow it, you know, the grass can stand a chance to rise into the surface. So I'm just going to mow this half. I am going to leave some habitat for the turkeys. I've got wild turkeys as well as if I had quail. I might raise quail out here just to have them. So this little park back here we call the fairy garden and uh, it leads right into uh, right into a little fire station and that's our little pet cemetery anybody who gets whacked here on the farm that wasn't edible gets uh, gets buried so anyway yeah that right in here is where I hit that swarm of blister beetles and uh, really uh, I could hear me breathing really hard uh, in this narration so I'm obviously having a little histamine reaction uh, maybe I'll go take some uh, some antihistamines before I start mowing so but uh, blister beetles I found out if you get them bailed up in your hay or they get mixed in your horse feed they are toxic uh, to your horse feed so obviously I don't want them around if I mowed up they go in small loose swarms so if I mowed up a bunch of blister beetles uh, you know, it rained last night, so I'm hoping that their, their little bodies have been washed out. But wow, what a, what a trip. All right, let's get the rest of that mowing done. What I'm trying to do is get this sawmill set up. I need to uh, put uh, pasture around here so when the rancher lets his cattle back in here, I won't have cattle up here because my next uh, thing I'm working on it is putting in a real foundation there, getting rid of those blocks. So I'll be picking up the uh, shipping containers a couple of inches and uh, putting in piers and then lowering it back down as well as earth bagging the, the lower part. So, and uh, as far as the earth bag goes, that's why I want to, uh, I want to build that sawmill because I want to practice earth bag on something that's not my house uh, before I uh, 
jump into the deep water. So you, you see somebody else doing it and you're like, oh, that's easy. Come on now, it's never easy. You've got to get your hands and brain have got to figure out little things like how much to tamp and what soil's right and how to mix it and all kinds of stuff. So, all righty. So while, <laughs> while I was walking around out there showing you everything, but I stood in fire ants, so that's something I didn't mention while getting stung. I have been fire ant bit a lot, and uh, my, my body's just all worn out. Anyway, I took an antihistamine, so I'll go out there and start working. Well, there's a problem. So even though I greased this up, I, I lost my wheel bearing. And, uh, man, I, I'm going to have to measure that out and see what size that is in order. They're 40 or 50 bucks for the hub. So, But uh, just for the fence line, I'm just going to, if I pull it straight, it kind of self-corrects. But, uh, yeah, and I even grease certed that, so I don't know what happened there. Maybe, maybe I hit something. Maybe uh, I need to clean this up a little bit more. Anyway, let's get going.